So when you say you're not happy at 100, what would you be happy at 200? <laughs> That's a lot though. Okay. But 150? Yeah, I mean like 120 to that range. Right. Yeah. Okay. To be relatable. Okay. So. Okay. What do you do for a living? I'm an automation engineer. And uh, what sort of educational qualification did it take you? So I did my masters uh, yeah. in computer engineering from University of Ottawa. Yes. Yeah. So. Okay. How much experience do you have in your field? Exactly five years. Yeah. And uh, all of that out here, or probably somewhere else too? Here. So I started with just an analyst, and then just switched once. Right. So maybe that's why I'm stuck with that salary range. Oh, okay. So, what do you think? What's the role of uh, networking out here to get better pay, to get better jobs? I believe within your organization or maybe um, your friends yeah, and yeah. LinkedIn as well. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a great platform to connect with people. But is it really important? I believe because how else if you are going on conferences or any kind of you know group meetings. outside right. of your organization yes. then you can yes. connect with people yes. or internally if you want to you know level up so we also have a meetup coming on uh, 30th of september so uh, do you think uh, one person who has like a lot of skills and doesn't really want to you know go out of the way put themselves out there so do you think it really affects their value in terms of the job that they have yeah you have to be very presentable you have to like show let the other people know um yes. the recruiters the hiring managers that what you're worth yes sometimes the person has a lot of skills but yes. they do not they can't able to like present it yes. so yes. they lag behind i believe what i have learned yes yes so the people who are much more they, they present their themselves yeah. they are yeah. very um they're very easy going and they communicate a lot better okay. yeah they, i think they are at much better place okay. I've, i've that's what i experienced yeah. that yeah. might not be true so makes sense One last one. So, do you think there's evidence of gender discrimination out here? Not sure. There's a lot of opportunities for men and women as well. I mean, okay. yeah, not sure if you're asking regarding the salary or yeah, just opportunities. Salary. I'm not so sure, <laughs> really. Okay, awesome. But yeah, they they have. I um, mean, they get the organizations get incentive for um, if they are for women, if they're hiring women. You know, they have they have some kind of you know ratio they have to maintain. So isn't that some discrimination in itself it like is, It is actually but so the organization benefits to it they're trying to promote to hire women or you know the other different people I mean I mean I'm all for women empowerment but then at the same point of time just because somebody is a woman and then you give them exactly. that Exactly yes that is, that is there So it is unfair I'm not sure if I'm okay with that Yeah I know it's unfair to men as well yeah? so I uh, yeah I'm not saying that it is really good <laughs> but it is yeah it is discriminatory okay. so Okay okay awesome